I today I would like to share you, with you the, my experiences with the building the system which is based on the 2 kilowatt 48 volt wind generator uh, along with the 1 kilowatt solar panels on the wall I have a, another set on the roof which is 3.5 kilowatt all is based on a Victron multi plus 2 3 kilowatt uh, wind turbine is charging the battery using Easter power wind solar charge controller this controller G2000 uh, is used when uh, I'm going either to, to bed or when the battery level is getting close to high uh, this charging controller obviously for the solar panels Kerb VX and the battery shield uh, protection of the battery current and also wind turbine is uh, connected to two MCBs one is for the charger another is for the uh, actually inverter I will put that on now and that should come on uh, it's starting already but as because power all we got now uh, charging and the inverter that basically works as a primary delivery where the battery surplus which I purchased uh, recently works as a, a safety device really for the for, uh, for the wind turbine and it works very well to be honest Yes, last night I started with the 70% uh, SOC. I need to say that the, this battery is too early to say anything about it. It's maybe a few days working, but it came as a kit. And the manuals uh, available on the internet and the complexity inside uh, with the wiring uh, is not very clear so if someone needs a, an advice how to do it then then fine uh, I can I can answer the question uh, so far works well uh, I didn't link my laptop to BM uh, BMS yet uh, waiting for the converter uh, RS485 to USB uh, to do the final adjustments. However, for the Kerbo, you can do a lot with the um, multiplus uh, settings. Uh, oh, that kicked in a bit more. So, what I'm finding here, uh, as that's been set up, it's working well. The currents on the battery charging. Uh, I've seen yesterday getting up to over 30 amps, close to 40, if that was only just to, to, to charge the battery. So Chinese wind turbine is doing well, uh, even in strong winds, it's not getting over spin and the battery brake uh, and the controller brake is not coming on because battery is capable to, go, uh, to get 100 amps charging current. So it goes well. Uh, obviously, we have two kind of brakes in this setup. One is connected to the uh, actually wind turbine inverter, which is up here. It's a standard heater. Uh, it's it's nice because when it gets close to the uh, to the set voltage the MOSFETs inside the inverter uh, pulsing the charge uh, load and it slows down. When it goes over even more so dump load is set to 57 volts 
uh, were short short in the uh, the wind turbine it's set to just one volt above it's the reason for that is because I really need to protect the battery um, for over voltage and well at the moment I can't say nothing wrong and the last resource break is this controller which has inside relays and short in that obviously you got a manual brake but I didn't find that required yet which also works uh, that setup is set with the ESS where I can fit um, power back to the grid uh, as an excess and the surprising thing for me was uh, the inverter which I have next door, which is completely separate to this system, when it's overload, uh, when it's uh, producing more than my demand, MultiPlus automatically detects that and it charges the battery. That was a great surprise. And now I only need to work out with the supply uh, mains to the charger and how to feed it back to the grid because. Uh, I got a feed-in tariff and I just want to, to, to use it. Uh, apart that, all the system, it was pretty straightforward. However, I spent hours, for example, just to connect BMS to the Kerbo. And the reason for that is I found out later on this socket for the BMS is not connecting to the plug. It's not working. So I need to contact supplier and see what they say. Uh, the wiring uh, for the link, actually between a can and and Kerbo, that was temperamental. Also, I uh, was reading number of uh, uh, forums and found some guidance, uh, but it's all also didn't work for me straight away and finally the wiring which you will do it's three four five i think if i remember correctly uh, and three seven and eight however if they are all connected uh, all eight uh, pins i had the problems to get the communication when I just connected three, it started working. But it could be combined with the problem which I had with the socket. When I finally switched to that, I don't know if the fully one-to-one -one, uh, or eight pins would work. I don't want to try even because I spent hours on that. Uh, so, at the moment, I'm getting to the close to 100%. And uh, that is charging from the solar, uh, not from, uh, well, actually it's combined from the solar and from the wind turbine. But that works amazing. We shall see how how good it will be over the time when they will be close to the summer. Uh, at the moment it's uh, end of January and I have some free energy. Actually, my EV car is charging now, and I hope the part of it is coming from this. Thank you for watching, and I will try to go into more details uh, if required. Thank you, bye.